So this is a short video on my Eagle Claw ice fishing uh, rod case. I got a couple of these. And I gave one to Jim as well. The jury's out on whether or not these latches will hold. We'll see. They open up this way, like that. So this is this the uh, this is the case when it's opened, and uh, I added this up here. You know, um, it's in part of that kind of insulation that, that you get with, we get it with uh, vegetables that are shipped to our house, but it's like any recycled old rags, <clears throat> right, that are made into like a thick insulating pad, and they're usually surrounded by plastic, but I took the plastic off, and then I cut it to size, I guess in the pinch too, you could, you could put jigs or something on it as well. So right here I got, let's see, I got five rods right now. So depending on how you set it up, um, I got the fifth rod in because it wouldn't fit here or here, but because it's short enough, I could put it here. See? All right, so I'm gonna take the rods out. So you're wondering, well, why am I using an, uh, a case when all my rods are cheap? But um, I guess the argument would be the cheap rods break easier, maybe. I broke at least two last year, just putting them in the old five gallon bucket. Um, maybe I'll do a review on the cheap rods sometime. All right, so. The um, case, you know, you can move these foam things around. They come with the case. And then what I did is I got some 3,500 Plano boxes, which are these ones. And I also got some ones that are Cabela's that are like the equivalent, 3,500. I think the size is like nine something by five something maybe by one and a half or one and three quarters. So they fit, you know, they're a little bit loose, but they'll they'll hold, and that's another reason why it's nice to have this, because this kind of prevents, or, you know, prevents any damage, not the box are gonna, gonna get damaged, but also maybe it prevents a little bit more the moving around. So I got six of these, and you know how it is when you have a when you have a Dymo label maker, you start labeling stuff, right? So, hooks and swivels and clips and two things of plastics and spoons, jigs and weights and bobber, you know, float stuff. Um, so then I had some of this Velcro stuff. <clears throat> You've seen that, right? Either for hanging I don't know what the company is that makes it, but um, you know, for hanging pictures and stuff like that. Well, you can attach it to other things, right? And then you just press it down and it holds. So I got two different um, test leaders. And I got another thing of the jigs here. And so those are all and then I got the uh, triple hooks here, treble hooks, and they're all connected with the Velcro. Um, I also have then uh, a um, uh, little clippers that's also on Velcro, and then um, some glue. You never know when you need glue. That's also on the Velcro. These foam bits you can attach you know, lures, these don't really fit as well in these boxes, so I, and just in case I ever have to, you know, there's some monster togue, aka lake trout, there's a couple 
tubes there and another tube here. Then at the end, um, I have uh, some pliers. And then I have a hook remover for deep hook. Got plastic bags. And then I just kind of lined it too with that stuff over here. And then a couple just ties. You never know when you need those. If you want more space here, just use a knife and cut it down a little bit. If you want more space for, you know, a wider part of the rod, then you can also just kind of scalp sculpt it out um, to your preference I also put a strip of um, tape on the back of the boxes you never know when you're gonna need tape um, this is um, gaffers tape you know so it doesn't leave any residue but so you can pull it off and then it'll stick on something else um, doesn't take any space up, of course so, that's the setup. We'll see how it goes. Let us know if you have any uh, suggestions or um, positive or negative comments. And um, we'll see you guys uh, later on. Bye. There's the beefy man. How's it going, baby? He's sleeping out here little cat condo.